Ok, xin chào các bạn. Mình là Phong đến từ Coi68 và mình đang ở đây tại sự kiện Good Game Việt Nam, Good Morning Việt Nam tổ lệ blockchain ở Việt Nam 2024. Và ngồi cạnh mình ở đây ngày hôm nay là một uh, nhân vật rất, rất là quan trọng đến từ một sàn giao dịch mà chắc chắn các bạn nếu mà đã sử dụng crypto ở Việt Nam thì đều đã nghe tên rồi. Uh, đó là sàn BitGet và mình đang ngồi cạnh CEO của BitGet và mình sẽ để anh giới thiệu lại về uh, một chút về bản thân cũng như là sàn gì. Hi everyone, thanks for the invitation. I'm really happy to be in Vietnam. I am the CEO of BitGet, Vugar Usi, and we are excited to be part of this beautiful event, but also Vietnam is a very exciting market for us. We've been extensively investing, and since I took over the office, it was one of the biggest markets that I'm focusing on. Yeah. And we are in the middle of discussion about like, the new trend in the market, like what is uh, make you exciting the most about. So okay. can you say like uh, for, for newcomer in the market, like what trend that they should take a look at? When it comes to BitGet, we try to offer solutions for every need. It depends where someone comes from, what kind of risk appetite they have. For example, for people who are really not interested in you know, risking their money, they just want to you know, earn passive income, we have Wealth Effect product like a launch pool, Pool X, where you can farm and stake your tokens to farm new tokens from the project. And at the end of that period, you get your tokens back, whether it's USDT, BGB, Bitcoin or Ethereum. It means you literally lose nothing and you just earn free tokens from the product and this is kind of for people who are not interested in trading risking doing something you know uh, out there also uh, similar to traditional banking there's a way to earn the percentage from your staked usdt's and all the other assets that are passively sitting in your account therefore if you are not into risks definitely go try one of these project uh, products if you are into the risk and you really want to earn a lot Definitely we have trading, we are very strong in trading with its copy trading, futures and of course the spot market. But again, crypto is really risky. You only have to trade with the assets that you are ready to lose and you can definitely lose all your assets, especially if you are a newcomer, beginner. Therefore, I would recommend everyone to start small, start with the amount you are comfortable and try to learn a lot from the trading. Because I think trading is a kind of a full-time job. You have to go, learn and definitely make money and I know a lot of people who make money and we have more than 150,000 elite traders on our platform therefore if you are into trade go and explore that also we definitely offer a lot of exciting products for example like a pre-market uh, where you can invest in a project before they are yeah. listed and I think it is kind of a way to hunt gems and find that product and project that will make 10x and 100x possibilities therefore As I mentioned, we have such a huge variety of products. I recommend everyone go and find a product that really fits your needs, fits your vision, and of course, always and always research and invest in a project that you really, truly believe. Because in my opinion, yes, we're all really excited to you know earn a lot of money, invest little, get like a 10x, but 100x. But at the end of the day, investment is about the philosophy, is about the project you're really comfortable with, founders you like, projects of community, being part of communities you really, really like. And when it comes to trend, of course, as I mentioned in the beginning of the talk, this bull run is more about meme tokens and meme coins. And there are so many great projects out there with a crazy, crazy community that support each other, a huge cultural effect. And I always say, for example, I think the greatest meme of all time was the Mona Lisa in the Louvre yeah. Museum because Mona Lisa, maybe it's not the greatest painting, maybe it's not even the best painting of Leonardo da Vinci, but because all the story around it, it was stolen by Italians, it went, it came back. And recently when I was in Paris, the guy told me that when Mona Lisa was stolen, more people came to Louvre to look at this empty space. And today, <laughs> almost 80% of Louvre's all people who come to Louvre, they come to visit Mona Lisa. Therefore, it's a great meme, right, out yeah. there. It brings, the, it's a cultural moment. It brings so much money. Therefore, memes have a place in this industry, and I believe If you are investing in a right meme project in a very early stage, you have this cultural connection, you know how to build and uh, be part of a community, definitely go choose a meme project that is close to your heart. It's really cool to have like a million tokens of a project and definitely when it goes up and it goes up and we've seen it too with so many projects this pool run that literally did like 100x. I know people who became millionaires overnight but definitely there were a lot of people who lost money therefore be always careful invest what you're comfortable but again there are so many opportunities out there it's shame not to invest. I'll follow up with that as well. I know we get conduct really careful due diligence when listing token. You don't list things as campos like at all. Uh, but like, uh, how, from from your point of view, like what are the criteria that you're gonna look at when you put uh, when you're putting the token listing on on the get platform so that people can like uh, understand uh, your about your standard? I believe 
Bitget is one of the very few exchanges that we do extensive due diligence. We only list around 650 tokens, therefore it's not like a thousand as I know there are exchanges like with thousand and thousand tokens. But what we try to do, we try to balance with listing the important tokens that everyone wants to trade, like of course the altcoins, the Bitcoin and like all the big ones. But also when we list the gems, we try to find the tokens that are a really strong project and we try to also offer like a first time tokens that listed in a first time exchange because most of the time we notice that once the tokens end up in exchange they're already like, everyone is trading they don't have much like an upside they won't give you 10x therefore we try to list projects that still have a 10x uh, opportunity therefore more than that we also uh, list a lot of projects on our pool X and launch pool to help them to generate uh, more audience and get access to BitGet ecosystem prior to listing. Therefore, all these aspects make a project, give projects a lot of um, exposure to our 25 million customer base. And again, when we do a due diligence, we look at their market cap, what the project is, how long term it is, who are the founding team members, what they have done before, the were they truthful before because we know the industry's problems. Therefore, as a BitKit, we always do very strong due diligence and there are so many projects that we just say no because we don't align with the, our vision, we don't align with our ethos, the way we conduct business because at the end of the day, projects are not our clients, our clients, our customers and therefore we want to bring them the best project, best investment opportunities and if any project doesn't slightly comply to any of our rules, we just let them go. Okay, I I just want to like get back to the the, the the product you how you protect users to make sure that we can capture all of it. So yeah, I will repeat the questions again. So about like the protect user fund and protect the user benefits, it's really really important. And we'd love to hear more about the detail, like how we can conduct that and protect the user as well. Sure. Even like become before becoming CEO of Bitget, I was always in love with Bitget because the way Bitget solves problems, the way Bitget portrays itself, and the bit the way BitGet puts the customer first and like a truly customer first. BitGet's protection fund is one of the largest in the industry. Actually, it's the second largest by the amount and it consists of only 6,500 Bitcoins and rest is USDT and USDC, which means there's no like a random tokens that pump their pool. It's actually solid pool and it reaches around a half a billion dollar because of the Bitcoin's price increase. Uh, at the bear market, it was around like a 350 million. And the price is going up, the pool is increasing. And the way protection fund works is that if there's any security breach happens for whatsoever reason, that is not because of the user, but because of BitGet. BitGet has enough funds to make sure that uh, customer funds are refunded, customer funds are safe and secure. And that's why we introduced this uh, protection fund. Also, it's very important to mention that BitGet is largest exchange that never had any security breach and we never use the protection fund, but it's always uh, better to be safe. And this protection fund, uh, as I mentioned, is a cornerstone for us. It's the second largest in the industry. First largest is by the largest exchange. And of course, compared to the number of users and transactions we have, we can say that with that ratio, we are the number one because we are having one of the largest protection funds. But it's not the only aspect we're proud of. The second important aspect that BitGet has is our proof of reserves. We've been consistently publishing our proof of reserves every two to three months, where we show users where all the user funds are. It means we never touch our user funds. And on top of it, we pledge to have at least 150% uh, extra on our liquidity pools. Today we have around two times more or 200%, which means if at any given second all our users decide to pull their assets away, exchange will still have more money left. And this way we assure our users that we never touch their funds. We know what happened to the exchanges that did. Of course, we will never do that. And we always assure our users. Of course, as I mentioned, like from the BitGet end, we try to make sure that we have all the safety and security and protection for our users, that they feel safe, they come and they trade. But on the different angle, we continuously educate our users because it's very important that our users are educated. They know that uh, how technology works, how market works, and we want that our users will be comfortable using exchange and never be victims of scams. Definitely, we have a lot of features that we deployed to make sure that our users are confident and if something goes wrong, they know what's going wrong. 
One of these features I really love is the delayed payment. Basically, every time you try to withdraw funds, uh, all transactions are delayed for one minute, and users have one minute to cancel the transaction. If they found any mechanical mistake, but also if something goes wrong and they realize that they've been victims of phishing or any other aspects, they could definitely stop that transaction. Also, we do a lot of pop-ups and notification and we make sure that users know who they are sending money, why they are sending for, and make sure that uh, they are fully aware of the actions they are taking. Because on-chain, if a transaction happens, there is no way to reverse it, yeah. but we are doing our best to make sure that we prevent any false transactions from the happening. Another important aspect is that when you register, there's a different layers of protection from two-factor authentication and the phishing calls that we want to make sure users know when they receive an email that's actually from us or it is a phishing template and so on. Therefore, we deploy a lot of technologies to educate our users. We do a lot of educational materials. We constantly do different uh, tasks to make sure that all our user profiles are up to date <coughs> and educate our users. And lastly, BitGet research team is doing an extensive research to look into how artificial intelligence and deep fakes can affect safety and security because we want to make sure that all our technology from our end is solid and impenetrable even by the technology, but also we want to make sure we educate our end user with the right research and right tools that they don't become victims of the deep fakes. I know in the industry, especially on the banking tradition, banking side, there was cases where people would get their call with the same voice of your parents, kids, or family member asking for funds, asking for money. I know that in crypto industry, there's a lot of uh, scam going on with different famous names like Elon Musk or others telling, oh, I'm giving out money, taking wallet addresses, and therefore we want to prevent all of this. And thank you for a really insightful sharing. So one last, one last question. Like, what is your message to the Vietnamese community out there? What they can expect from a uh, really forefront people from BitGet? Definitely. Since I took over uh, as a CEO, Vietnam is one of the three markets that we are looking forward to expand and we are extensively investing, not only on the crypto side. Uh, we have here our production uh, and stakeholders. We invest uh, extensively into Vietnamese economy. And also we have our blockchain for use uh, campaign. We pledge to invest $10 million to educate young professionals, both entrepreneurs and professionals who want to come to the industry. Within this quarter, we did a training session with 800 Vietnamese students through different universities. We partner with a lot of universities across the Vietnam. Therefore, Vietnam is a very exciting market for us. We extensively invest. And also, we have grown double uh, in last quarter in Vietnam. And we saw that overall interest for crypto increased within the Vietnamese community around the 30%, especially on a traditional assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. I know that a lot of people use it to hedge and a lot of people use it to as a small investment. But definitely there's a huge also interest when it comes to different projects. We saw a lot of new projects coming from Vietnam. Previously, Vietnam was a very strong market when it comes to gaming, but we now we see more and more different uh, on-chain projects happening. And of course, definitely trading and finding an opportunities out there. And very exciting products we have both on BitGet and also BitGet Wallet. We have this daily task and quest that a lot of Vietnamese uh, users are taking advantage of and in average they can earn almost like a 50 70 dollars per week if they consistently do that challenges and do this task and collect these airdrops therefore i believe bitget is a very exciting platform for vietnamese audience and also vietnamese audience is very dear to our hearts and we try to build that products and tools that will help our vietnamese users really awesome thank you so do remember to follow bitget social media and for new updates and our promotion and everything all right thank you for your sharing and thank you for spending time with us thank you very much thank you very much